Once upon a time lived the powers that be. There were two things the powers that be really, really liked. Power and dictating to the merely mortal. What the powers that be chose to dish out, the rest of us had to swallow. Please, sir, I want some more. But then came the digital revolution. And soon six billion souls, formerly known as the audience, suddenly began to gain control of our own communications destiny. We got the internet, we got the iPod, TiVo, Craigslist, Google, and Hulu, and Twitter, and Flickr, and Fark, and YouTube. Heap and gobs of heavenly mercy, YouTube. Even Hollywood became unnecessary because now we could create our own timeless classic. <laughs> Well, digital technology did alter human behavior on a grand scale. We watched, read, and listened to what we wanted, when we wanted, usually for free, and thus undermined the business models of both mass media and mass marketing. Whole industries, including the record business and newspapers, imploded before our eyes, with broadcast and magazines right behind them. And nobody saw it coming. Anyway, almost nobody. There was that one heroic visionary who back in 05 predicted not only the collapse of the media industry, but also of the advertising industry that for four centuries had been the yin to the media yang. But look here, anyone can be a prophet of doom. Also, as someone with not one but two jobs in mass media and no actual skills to fall back on, I felt a certain urgency to identify not just problems, but solutions. Thus, I commenced to explore five continents in search of those exploiting the very digital revolution that has wrought such havoc. And I found them, from Doritos to Lego, from Netflix to Netroots, from open source science to open source beer. They embraced digital tools and rejected outmoded dictatorial ways. Nowadays, at last, they, we, are doing the talking about companies and brands to one another. We are cattle no more. Like it or not, the herd will be heard. We are a force to be reckoned with, yes, but also a priceless resource of ideas, free labor, vast social connections, and, oh, yeah, if we like you, we'll give you our money. You just have to give us the attention, recognition, and respect we demand and deserve. This is what I call the art and science of listenomics. If you are in the group formerly known as The Man, take some cheap advice from the subtitle of the chaos scenario. Listen or perish. <laughs> <laughs>